EM 13 live Doppler. We had heavy rain this morning, especially from Birmingham South, and we've had it in Marion County with some big hail so far on this Wednesday evening. But now the storms that are moving across Northwest Alabama no longer have that same kind of punch, but they are electric here at uh, nearly 1020 in the evening. A lot of lightning here close to Moulton down toward Russellville out to Red Bay and then yet again another thunderstorm coming through Hamilton this time though not severe. This northern part of the line is moving toward the east southeast at around 35 miles per hour. That'll put this close to Coleman around or just before midnight West Point closer to 1130 Double Springs around 11 to 1115. Then it gets into Blunt County, Marshall County, Etowah County beyond that after midnight. This cluster of thunderstorms that has had some severe weather reported with it back in Mississippi will move into Lamar County, getting close to Vernon around 1124 to 1130. And then it could be close to Fayette around midnight, Winfield a bit before that, between 1130 and 1145. This is the last of the thunderstorms. Once this wave passes through, drier air will start to move in here later on tonight. So here's what we're expecting. I'm not looking for a lot of severe weather. There are no watches or warnings in effect, and that really speaks to the threat. When there's not a watch, the risk is not all that high. Just have a way to get a warning in case one of these storms gets a little rogue. We have plenty of heat and humidity around. Temperatures are in the 60s. We've got that south wind. Occasionally, even on a night without a watch, a storm can grow severe. This is what we think happens with most of it. 40 mile per hour wind gusts and hail that would be about the size of a penny or a dime at the largest through midnight in the yellow shaded counties between about 11 p.m. And think about it this way. 11 p.m. on the northern fringe of the counties here and then about 2 a.m. toward the southeast moving from the top and left part of the screen uh, down to the bottom right. That's how the storms are going to work tonight. Small hail, gusty winds, locally heavy rainfall, strong storms overnight, but they're out of here by tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon breezy and sunny. The high at 76 on Thursday, the wind shifting to the northwest. Friday and Saturday, we are warming up in the afternoons again. High temperatures back up in the lower 80s. And then we've got another cold front coming in Sunday that will really knock the temperature down going into next week. Maybe some frost by Wednesday morning. Can't wait. Can't wait for the weekend. Some yeah. big games, right? Football, here it comes. Tennessee, Alabama.